Now, a 100-year-old building which houses one of the last intact slipper bath complexes in the UK could be demolished if plans are given the go-ahead. Clyde Banks Town Centre is set to benefit from a £3.3 million investment, but campaigners say getting rid of historic assets in the process is nothing short of cultural vandalism. Karen Greenshields reports. Clyde Bank doesn't have much left of its historic past, but what it has is to be transformed as the town undergoes a rebranding as a high-quality business and residential location. Refashioning Clyde Bank will begin at the heart of its civic quarter, and the town hall is to undergo extensive refurbishment. The funding, however, does not stretch to preserving an historic baths complex which lies behind these walls. This building may have withstood three nights of bombing during the Clyde Bank Blitz, but it will not survive a makeover which will see this property demolished and an arts venue built in its place. The bathhouses were designed to accommodate the health and hygiene needs of thousands of people who had no access to bathing facilities. The still intact slipper baths, massage rooms, laundry, foam rooms and Turkish suites have lain unused and unprotected for more than 20 years. But campaigners say they are not just a symbol of the past and should be retained. We want a regeneration which is based on what we already have, not what we think we can actually do during one of probably the worst recessions of you know, our time. This building already exists, let's not build anything new we can't fill. Phase two of the plans would see the swimming pool being filled in and a gallery created in the space. And although councillors visited two membership-based pools in Glasgow with similar amenities and long waiting lists, it was felt there wouldn't be the same demand in Clyde Bank. For a town that has so little of its past left, isn't it wrong to tear down a piece of history? I don't think so. I think we have to move on. I mean, not so much history as a derelict building. If you were sitting 20 years ago and wanting to do this, yes, it was probably saveable. Now it's not. The Clyde Bank baths were built when the local authority was responsible for public health and hygiene. Nowadays, modern homes and a rise in the number of leisure centres have rendered these amenities surplus to requirements. Karen Greenshields, STV News, Clyde Bank. And that's all from me in the West tonight. If you want to keep in touch with all the stories,